thank you, my Lord. Today the Holy Spirit has given me new warnings, and I'm going to get those new warnings out. The Holy Spirit said a storm will rise up out of the east and the north and come against Israel. He said, and no one will come to help. He said Damascus would be destroyed. The leaders would be removed from their seats, preparing the way for the fallen angels. The enemies of God in Israel will soon take their seats. He said, soon we will make first contact with those that are from other worlds. So soon he said that they would be coming to this earth to make that contact with us. He said, all will move fast before the end of 2011, and all will grow worse. It will not get better. I'm sorry to tell you this, but it will not get better. He said, America will be parted into four parts, divided. He said, the European Union will collapse. Change is coming. Obama will tax everything. Nations will refuse trade to America and other nations. He said, Iran will join with Russia and come against Israel, and they will also attack small nations around them. He said the weather will grow worse to the end. He said look up and watch what falls from the sky. It will be the main event. We'll all see it. Won't no one have to tell us it's coming. We'll all see it. He said the heavens will shake. Watch what falls to the earth. Meteors, fireballs will fall to this planet. He said, said the churches will be closed. Bibles will be burned. A new doctrine is coming and will sweep around the world. He said the oceans will rise higher and higher. He said destruction will continue. He said watch what you eat. The enemies of America will attack us any way they can. A new virus is coming. Be careful. Uh, who you're around, uh, what you touch. Be careful. Keep your hands clean. He said the government is holding America back. They will be removed. All power will be given to this president. Freedom is lost. He said the one world order, the one religion, the one banking system. He said Babylon is coming. He said, soon the bottomless pit will be opened and those that have been bound since the beginning of time will be loosed upon this earth. And he said, we have not seen the locks of violence that will come from these that are freed from their prison. May God help us all. Uh, the Holy Spirit has not given me any new warnings for 2012. But when he does, and if he does, I will get them out there as soon as I can. Uh, may God help us all. We need to stand together. Uh, we need to stock up on food and water. And uh, we need to try to get a generator because electricity is soon going to be going. And we're going to be doing without electricity. We're going to be in the dark. We're going to be in the heat. So those that can get generators, do so. And it's coming. And may God help us all. And like I said, if the Holy Spirit gives me anything else, I will certainly get it out so you'll be warned of what's coming. May God bless you all and keep you all in Jesus Christ's most holy name. And let me say this to all those that are lost. I know I keep saying this in all of my videos, but if you knew how bad it's going to be. I mean, the things that God has revealed to me and the things that is coming that I have seen in a vision. It is horrible, people. I'm not kidding with you, and I'm not trying to preach doom, gloom, and destruction. I'm trying to tell you the truth. We're going to be doing without food and water. There's going to be a shortage. Nations are going to refuse to trade. It's only going to get worse. Freedom is lost. A change is coming, and the change that's coming is not good. And destruction, the weather, the Holy Ghost said the weather, the job loss. All these things are leading up to the one world government and the mark of the beast. Now I'm here to try to tell you, stack up now on whatever you can. Canned goods, 
a frozen, whatever you can that doesn't need electricity because soon we will be doing, we're going to have problems with the powers, what the Holy Ghost showed me. And like you, I'm trying to do all I can do to store up, uh, but it's not easy, I know that. But listen, I'm trying to warn you. We're going to be moving in a time, and it's going to be moving fast. Do you see already it's July? And the Holy Ghost said before the end of 2011, it will only grow worse. And all is moving fast. So please, prepare yourselves. Prepare your families. Stock up on whatever you can. Because I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost told me the gold and the silver, you can forget about buying the gold and the silver because the Holy Spirit told me that that gold and silver is not going to be worth anything right along with money. It's not going to be worth anything. I asked the Holy Spirit to reveal to me what would be the answer to help the world in America. And the Holy Ghost said to me, Donna, there is no answer. These nations are falling. You're seeing the death of this world. It is time for all this to pass away. It is time. That's what you're seeing. You're seeing the death of this world. And he said all these things have to happen. And he said it is coming and it will only grow worse all the way up until the end. Now, prepare. Do whatever you can to make it. And please, Help others that don't have any food. I know that's going to be hard. And I'm telling you, our government is getting control of farms. They're getting control of food. And the Holy Spirit told me that all the people that's been stocking up and all of these people who have been preparing, He said that those that are stronger and mightier than them will come and take what they have. I'm telling you, our government people, I'm not kidding, the Holy Ghost revealed all these things to me. He said that this government will take what the people have stored up and they will divide it out to whoever and however much they want. I'm telling you, freedom's lost. It is over. We are moving into the, before the tribulation. All these things are preparing. Everything is moving us to that place. And it's not going to be long. And it is going to move so fast and before you know it, it's going to all be upon us. And it will be the worst time that we have ever seen. You see the earthquakes and the visions that Holy, the Holy Ghost has given to me? You've seen those earthquakes and stuff that the Holy Ghost prophesies come to pass. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm trying to help you. And you see those earthquakes and those volcanoes? Don't think they're going to stop. That's just the beginning. They will continue on. The Holy Ghost said that all this will lead us to that. And that's where we're headed, to the worst time in American history, in the world. We're not in this alone, people. The entire world, we will all be in this together, in this time of suffering and famine. And it's, it's going to be a horrible time, and may God help us all. So if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please do it right now because time is short. I promise you, it is short. As God is my witness, it is short. It is at the door. Repent of your sins. Make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Because I'm telling you, let, let me say this real fast while i got some time. All of you people out there and you atheists and all of you that are confessing there is no God and there's no Jesus and there's not none of this and we're all crazy and we don't know what we're talking about. Well, i got news for you. That day's going to come, and when the rapture of the church takes place, and we're taken out of here, and you're left behind, you know that you didn't want to bow down to no God? I promise you that false cross is going to bring you down to your knees, and you're going to worship Him and His false God, and you're going to be bowing down however many times a day they want you to. Because, you see, it's not going to be like now. See, now it's a free will. It's a gift. You know, we're trying to call you. We're trying to bring you. They're not going to call you brother and sister. They're going to drag you kicking and screaming. And when you refuse to take his mark, join his one world order, that one is going to be something else. When you refuse, they're going to kill you. It's not going to be like now. You talk all that mess you want to and get away with it because the laws in the United States of America. But soon those laws are going to be changed. Do you hear me? The Holy Ghost said the laws will be changed. And they're going to take you. 
you're going to bow down and worship that false god whether you want to or not. You're not going to have a choice. See, they're not going to give you no choice. So right now, while your life is not in no danger, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Because I promise you that day's coming. You've seen that mess they're trying to preach, that purpose-driven church. You've seen that blasphemy. All of that positive thinking. I'm here to tell you that, that you I don't care how good you are and how good your mind is. Things just don't work out like that. There is You cannot be positive 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You just can't do it. Because that's lie. Don't be caught up in that lie and that deception that they're lying to you. You better know the truth. You better hold on to that truth. Because Jesus Christ is the foundation. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father but by Him. If anyone is teaching, there is another way to God, to heaven. Without Jesus, is a liar. Is a liar. And I'm telling you right now, there is no other way but Jesus Christ. And what's so sad is, is that if you believe their lies, and then in the end, when you're getting cast into hell, you can thank them for that because uh, that's where their truth is going to lead you. It's going to lead you into hell. And let's pray that you don't have to go. You don't have to go except Jesus right now is your Lord and Savior. I promise you everything that I've told you, you're going to see it. It will come to pass because God is speaking today. He is warning the people to prepare and to get ready. And I pray that God blesses you, gives you the strength, the courage that you're going to need. Because we're going to need some power from on high. I promise you that. And God is faithful and just. And He says that He will never forsake us. So He will lead us, prepare us, and guide us in these last days as we go through these troublous times. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's most holy name. Thank you, friends.